to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Revlon's new Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. They recently launched and I found them at Ulta. And they also have them at Target. They are $7.99. And I'm really excited to try them out because it talks about having a really high shine, feather proof, and it talks about with one application on your lips, it's supposed to give you so much pigmentation. It's supposed to be unreal. So I'm really, really excited to see well, how they're going to look on our lips and how it's going to feel, you know, if it's going to be really heavy or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and links will be down below on this video for all the products that I use. And I hope you guys are excited. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. First lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on. It is called Birthday Suit. It is number 925. And so far, you guys, with just opening up and swatching the little applicator, it looks like the consistency of the formula is really thick. Um, so I'm kind of getting nervous. But so far, the color looks really, really beautiful. It looks like the softest baby pink. And I love the little doe foot applicator. It is one of my favorites. So it feels like it's gonna glide in really smoothly. So let's go ahead and apply it on. try on it is called shady and it is number 915 it is this beautiful wine kind of color I honestly am really excited I've never had a lip shade quite like this one I've had colors that have more of like a dark deep plum but this is totally a, a really beautiful wine lip shade so I'm really excited same thing has the same type of applicator the consistency of the formula looks really thick um, I'm really excited to see how it feels on the lips and see if it feels heavy and how shiny this formula really is onto your lips like am I going to be glistening from the moon to the stars or from to the moon <laughs> let's go ahead and try it on you guys and it was really quick it was supposed to have a three different lip shades but one of them got lost in the mail and I just wanted to make a video for you guys so I figured I'd just do it anyways so I hope you guys enjoy the swatches and I hope you like them as well overall my final thoughts and opinions I really really loved birthday suit 925 this light, this light pink I think it turned out beautiful I feel like I got an even amount an even application on my lips and the color is so beautiful I'm really typically not into light pinks but for this lip color I am really sold and I can see myself wearing this often it is beautiful it does feel thick as I mentioned before the consistency of the formula is a little bit thick it does feel a little bit heavy on the lips I am worried that in the wind like say for instance it's windy outside it's gonna get caught onto my lips and it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable but I feel like it's okay. It's going to feel like it's going to be moisturizing on the lips, so it's not so bad of an effect, I guess. Um, as for, what is it called? Shady, number one, number 915. Um, I'm not a big fan of this. I don't know if you noticed when I was doing the close-ups. I did not, I was not able to apply an even amount on my lips. I felt like I had to go over one more time to apply the perfect amount because it was looking kind of spotty. I definitely felt like I needed a lip liner after applying this just because it was so pigmented and I was not able to apply it neatly around my lips. Um, it did feel heavy, the thick, the consistency, but it didn't feel so like heavy that it felt really uncomfortable. It just felt like really moisturizing. Um, so for that reason, I wasn't a big fan. In the video that I, when I was showing you how it looked on my lips, I only did that with one application. I wanted to give you a true, 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 um, example of how it looks with one application because online that's what it's telling you it's saying buy this lip gloss because with one application it's going to totally pay off and you're going to get the full effect so i just wanted to show you that with you guys and give you my pros and cons about these lip shades so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything i used in today's video will be linked down below for you guys don't forget to like subscribe and of course comment down below let me know what you thought of these lip shades and if you've even tried them or if you're a big fan of revlon or not and what do you like about their products also think it's doing so well all right you guys that's pretty much sums up our video for today i hope you guys enjoyed today's review as for my final thoughts and opinions on these lip crop lip 
products and <laughs> total tongue twister for me. I honestly like them. There's pros and cons to them, obviously. And let me start with the pros. The pros, what I loved, I personally loved birthday suit. This is number 925. It's this really light pink. I honestly really loved the shade on my lips. I think it was really, really pretty. I'm not a big fan of pink lip colors but this one it's just the perfect undertone for me and it sold me i can definitely see myself wearing this was it thick yes but the consistency of the lip gloss is really thick personally from my experience of other glosses that i've tried this does feel really thick what i am worried about is if it's windy outside my hair is going to get stuck to my gloss <laughs> so that is the only problem i love that doe flat applicator it feels really nice on the lips it glides on really easily um, but for the pro, for the cons, I, one of my least favorite shades was, it's called Shady number 915. I wasn't a big fan just because I felt like it was harder for me to get an even application on my lips. I don't know if you noticed in the clip when I was showing you how it looked on, there was a, it was a little bit of patchiness on my lips and I felt like I had to go in one more time with the applicator. So for that reason, that's why I'm not a really big fan of this lip color. I feel like I definitely need to go in a few more times, a few more applications on my lips. And I also feel like you need a lip liner with this um, just because I felt like it kind of got messy and it was hard for me to, you know, apply it on my lips. Um, like I mentioned to you before, these lip shades are, I found them at Ulta, they're $7.99 and I will link everything I use in today's video down below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what, which lip shade you liked from this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Until next time, bye!